Hi boys and girls, let's start today with a prayer. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. Jesus, I trust in you. Jesus, I love you. Jesus, I adore you. Jesus, I give you thanks. Jesus, I ask for your forgiveness. Jesus, I ask for your help. Jesus, I offer myself to you like Mary. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and the Holy Spirit, Amen. Today is Valentine's Day, and it is the day that is given to a martyr. His name is Saint Valentine, and he's a martyr who lived in the third century in Rome. He had an ancient church dedicated to him in Rome. He loved Jesus very much and gave his life for Jesus. He is the patron of love, young people, and his feast day is February 14th. And he's also the patron of happy marriages. Also today we're going to discuss what's coming up this Wednesday. This Wednesday is Ash Wednesday. And it is 40 days before Easter that we celebrate the beginning of Lent. Ash Wednesday begins Lent. So this Wednesday, it's a day to fast and obtain from abstain from meat for people that are 14 years or old or older. It's a day to go to church and receive ashes on your forehead to say that you are sorry for your sins and to believe Jesus' teachings. The priest will say the words, as you put the sign of the cross and the ashes on your head, repent and believe in the gospel. It's a day, to, it's a day that you want to start to prepare for the wonderful celebration of Jesus's first his resurrection. Okay, and he thought he gave his life for us on Good Friday, and that on Easter Sunday he rose from the dead so that we could have life in heaven with him. The church gets ready to celebrate Jesus' death and resurrection. So we're on page 172 in your book. You can follow along. When do you remember what your family has done for you? When do you remember what God has done for you? Think about that. We believe Lent is a special time in the church. We remember all that Jesus has done for us. We get ready for the church's great celebration of Jesus' death and resurrection. Lent is a time to remember our baptism. In baptism, we first received grace, the gift of God's life. During Lent, we praise Jesus for sharing his life with us. We were baptized in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Praying the sign of the cross reminds us of our baptism. page 173 close your eyes thank Jesus for sharing his life with you now pray together the son of the cross again in the name of the father and of the son and of the Holy Spirit amen during Lent we try to grow closer to Jesus we pray and follow his example we thank God for his great love we celebrate God's forgiveness we help people who are sick, hungry, and lonely. Followers of Jesus Christ should always do these things. However, they have special meaning when we do them during Lent. Okay, on page 174 in your book, you'll see a picture of a cross. Each time you do something to grow closer to Jesus during Lent, color one of the spaces in this cross. So you can start today. Do something kind for your homework or something nice for someone. Maybe say a prayer for someone who's sick or someone who needs, who's sad, or do something nice. Make a card for someone for Valentine's Day, your mom or your dad, to show them that you love them. Okay? so. You can color in one of those little squares and squares and spaces, and hopefully by the end of Lent, it'll be all colored in. Okay. 
The Lord calls us to days of quiet time, prayer, and kind acts. Blessed be the name of the Lord, now and forever. During this time of Lent, we trust in God's love and forgiveness. Happy are those who trust in the Lord. Together we pray as Jesus taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. I will look forward to talking to you next time. That's the end of our video for this week. And don't forget to do something kind and show that you love people today. We ask this. Let's end with a prayer. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. God bless your week. And may you have a blessed Ash Wednesday. Thank you, Mrs. Gallagher. Let's review your homework once again. If you're watching this on your own, please get a parent so they can listen. For homework this week, draw or write something kind that you will do today for someone in your life. Please send us a picture by email or text by Saturday, February 20th at noon. Don't forget to send us the homework because otherwise we're not able to mark you present. De tarea esta semana, dibujen o escriban un acto de bondad o caridad que planean hacer hoy por alguien en su vida. Envíenos una foto por texto o correo electrónico antes del mediodía del sábado 20 de febrero. No se olviden de enviarnos la tarea para poder marcarles presente. Before we go, this season of Lent, the altar servers are inviting us to be followers of Jesus throughout the season by participating in their baby bottle campaign. The Baby Bottle Drive helps moms and babies in our community. When you go to Mass next weekend, please take a baby bottle and fill it up with cash throughout the Lent season. Invite your parents to help you by giving up that morning coffee from their favorite coffee place and donating the money instead. And for you, instead of buying Robux or toys, place the money in your bottle for donation. You can also ask to help out with extra chores around the house in exchange for donation for your bottle. Let's help save lives together. The bottles will be given out after Mass on the weekend of February 20th and 21st, and they must be returned on the weekend of March 20th and 21st. Thank you in advance for your participation.